No, thank you. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, if distributed property doesn't work out for you, foil, you can always forget it. We can always rely on our lovely foil face. So the important thing to remember about your foil face is just think of the properties of the face. The first thing is you gotta get, you gotta have the shape. Right? So what I like to do is just nice make a little shape or a little chin for your foil face. So what we can do is if we can think about creating a foil face, what that's gonna do is that's gonna help us tell which numbers to multiply by each other. So what I do is I first create the shape of the, of the face. Then the next thing I do is make my nose. All right, because that's one of the first things you do, right? When you're born, you breathe. So you have the shape of your face, then you breathe. Then obviously you've got to have a kind of an upper head, right, Savannah? So unlike me, this person has some hair. So we're going to kind of cross there with a little bit of hair. And you guys can see, now what I've done is I've connected them in a way that you can see it makes a little face. You can see right here's his little eyes, here's his ears. If you don't really see it, Sometimes you can get creative, make a little nose, a little, little mouth, a little mouth. That's just too much. There we go. Okay, maybe that's have some like, balls. That's like what math teachers do. A little ring. All right. Wow. So you guys can obviously see here comes you know the little face. You might even add a little hair up here. Uh, that's that's taking okay. too far. Okay. So how do I get it? So you guys can see at least where this visualization is going to help you out. You're at the stop? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So now, ladies and gentlemen, all we're really going to do is just take what we're connecting and have that multiply. So if I'm multiplying 2x times negative 4y, so I'll just write that up. 2x squared times a negative 4y. Um, then I can take the inside, 4y times 2x squared. Then I'll do the first terms over here, 2x squared times 2x squared. And I'll do the last terms, 4y times a negative 4y. All right? So now we simply just need to determine what happens. Well, 4x squared times negative 4y, 2 times negative 4 is a negative 8. And our x squared and y, are those the same term? Yeah. Those the same term? No, so you don't combine them and add their exponents. You just leave it as them multiply. Okay. So that becomes x squared and y. Next one, 4 times 2 is 8. Again, we have the same issue, y times x squared. Then here, I have 2 times 2, which is 4. And x squared and x squared, are those the same term? Do those have the same base? Is that the same base? Yeah, that's the same base x. So what do you do with your exponents? You add them. So 2 plus 2 is 4. four. Then here, I multiply my numbers. 4 times negative 4 is negative 16. And y and y have the same base, Savannah. Negative 16 is y. Negative 16 y. Y and y have the same base. And therefore, you add the exponents, becomes you y squared. OK? So now, I need to write out my answer. Negative x squared y. And one thing I need to look at, ladies and gentlemen, is 3 times 4 equal to 4 times 3? No. Like, well, yeah, yeah. yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. So would x times y be the same thing as y times x? Yes. yes. So could I rewrite x squared times y? And say as y times x squared. Can I rewrite? Are those the same thing? Yeah. Yeah. So let's just rewrite them the same. Let's rewrite this instead of y times x squared. Let's write this as x squared times y, just so those look the same. So therefore, I have a negative eight x squared plus eight x y plus four x to the fourth minus sixteen y squared. Notice that these two terms cancel out. <laughs> Therefore, I'm only left with a 4x to the 4 minus 16y squared. And this is actually a special product we'll talk about um, in a later class period. But it's just important for you guys to understand that since these both have, that's an x squared, sorry. Since these both have the same terms, x squared and y, you can cancel them out. All right? Yeah. 
And therefore, that's your final answer. 4x to the fourth minus 16y squared. There you go.